The killer whale's genus name, Orcanus, means of the netherworld and is in reference to their predatory behavior. The name Orca, in Latin, refers to a whale or whale-shaped creature, but it also means the shape of a barrel and is likely referencing the killer whale's barrel-shaped body. So together, Orcanus Orca either means whale of the underworld or a barrel from hell. Pick your favorite. In some of the first writings about killer whales, dating back over 2,000 years, the mammals are referred to as goats. Considering this was how they imagined killer whales to look, the resemblance is somewhat understandable. People have known about killer whales since prehistoric times, but they weren't scientifically classified using modern taxonomy methods until 1758. This is true for many animals, though plenty of other classification systems existed before this. Killer whales are currently classified as the only living members of their family. However, some scientists are looking into if multiple living orca species exist across their global population. Even killer whales living in the same area are not known to interbreed and are genetically distinct. While humans have to worry about their babies falling into water, killer whales must consider the opposite. In one study, an approximately 10-day-old baby killer whale became stranded above the water on rocks and did not survive. Did you know episodes like this are made with help from our Patreon supporters? If you enjoy this content and are able, consider joining our Patreon community. All right, now back to the facts. As of 2019, after bottlenose dolphins and belugas, killer whales are the third most kept cetaceans in captivity. For killer whales, this practice began in 1961 and continues to this day. While it's widely known that these mammals don't fare well in captivity, their original popularity in aquariums is what brought their existence to public attention. This may have dispelled the myth of the whale killer and led to many people's affection for these mammals. Prior to this, killer whales were considered pests and hunted for fun. They were even used as target practice by U.S. military personnel. Natives, however, respected them and held them in high esteem. Killer whales have no sense of smell. Their brains don't even have the nerves for it. This is true for all dolphins, killer whales being the largest dolphins alive today. The white spots on a killer whale's face are known as the postocular patches, or eye patches. The prevailing theory behind their existence is to provide false targets for animals that might try to take a jab at the whale's vulnerable eyes. If they aim for the eye patch, they'll miss the eyes entirely. The saddle marks, tail flukes, dorsal fin, and scars are individual to each killer whale like the stripes on a zebra. This means that killer whale populations can be monitored down to the individual. This practice first began in the 1970s, though scientists at the time were highly skeptical of its efficacy. One way to tell male and female killer whales apart is to look at their tails. As adults, a male's tail flukes curve slightly downward. Males are also larger, with more straight, pointed dorsal fins. You've also probably heard that killer whales are second only to humans when it comes to their range. They only half sleep, and they go through menopause. But if you weren't aware of these things, you can learn all about them and more in our full killer whale episode. There's a card on screen you can click right now. Go ahead, click it. There's lots to learn. And thanks for watching Animal Fact Files.